Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. Sometimes the Kaspersky antivirus can be overprotective and interfering too much with your operating system. In this case, blocking or throttling your VPN. Even though it's a common occurrence, it may not be pleasant having to deal with this issue. But don't worry, this video will guide you through a few solutions that might fix this problem. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be whitelisting the VPN. Open Kaspersky from the notification area and then open settings. Then choose protection and select firewall. Then you have to disable Block network connections if the user cannot be prompted. Select the VPN executable file and allow it to communicate through the firewall. Repeat this for all related applications. Then save the changes and try connecting again. As a note, you can also make sure that the Kaspersky security suite is responsible for VPN blockage or inconsistencies in connection speeds. To find out if the antivirus is the problem, just temporarily disable the antivirus by right-clicking on the icon in the notification area and try using your VPN again. If you find out that the Kaspersky antivirus is indeed to be blamed for VPN issues, you'll need to manually create an exclusion for the VPN client. You could also try disabling scanning of encrypted connections. Start Kaspersky, go to Settings, select Additional, then click on Network and then disable Do Not Scan Encrypted Connections and also disable Inject Script into Web Traffic to interact with web pages. Then go back to Settings, select Protection, click on Web Antivirus Settings, then select Advanced Settings and disable Automatically Activate Kaspersky Protection Extensions in Browsers. Prior to this, we recommend uninstalling the extension from the browser. This is because some experienced users recommended disabling all the aforementioned options in order to make the VPN work. And another useful solution could be reinstalling the VPN. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and simply typing apps and features. Click apps and features. Then, in the Apps and Features window, you just have to click your VPN solution and uninstall it. Afterwards, restart your PC, download the latest version of the VPN of your choice and install it. Finally, you can try and reinstall the affected VPN. By doing so, the application itself, as in the VPN client, should reintegrate into the system shell. And then maybe the problem won't persist after that. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.